All right, I've been doing a lot of customizing guns lately. And I also broke down and ordered a 3D printer on Cyber Monday. So I should be able to do some really cool, even better modifications down the road once I figure that thing out. Anyway, this was one that I just finished. Really like how it turned out. Kind of just like a mini AK, but still having the stock available as well. So pretty happy with everything there. Also, since I, you know, talked about how you have that little power port that's typically right here on this side, it was actually going to block the barrel. So I relocated it down under here so you can see it right there. And so this can be powered by um, up here by the battery as well. So this was just, like I said, I've got a bunch of these type of batteries. So it would just slide in there and I can slide on. And then this can plug in right here. So, and then however you want to deal with that cable could make it look a little prettier. So that's what I, that's what I did. I like how it turned out. So of course now you could use it with the stock or without the stock, depending on how you want to do it. And of course you can use different batteries. This can actually accommodate a, a decent size battery. It just needs to be that cylinder style. So again, it's the Anstoy AKM 47, the large one. Um, I did leave the, I went with the blue trigger and the blue little here, because then I can use a blue magazine too. I think that'll tie it in nicely. Um, this was a black one I had already had painted, so I just touched it up. But overall, really like how it turned out. Kind of everything's like gloss black. This is still a flat black, but then everything else is gloss black. So um, I thought, think it looks pretty nice. So again, Anstoy AKM 47. And this is, I guess, what I would say, like a little mini AK, I guess. So I'll uh, do some shooting with it later, and I'll make sure to post that too.